happens when the weather's coming up and the ship's about to get blown off. <laughs> <laughs> um, here, I'm going to open up a picture that I take, took here earlier, so that should give us something. There oh, it that's nope. it. That, look, that looks, seems, looks promising. Uh, Getting western with it. Okay, video, zoom out. No, nope. he had it. Still unmatched. I think I think it went a little, maybe a little clockwise, and then. Yeah, it's going. I'm just gonna. But it's going my okay. I'm up here. There, there we go. It is. Yeah, nice. Okay. That uh, little box is on its last legs. Zoom in there. Pretty sure I saw it close. Yeah, they're connected. That's very good. Getting off that without. Got a little tap, be nice. A little love tap. Gotta have a love tap. Okay. It's and more of an uh, anger tap. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last <laughs> straw. All right, so we want to go ahead. Top view and do the final north positioning, uh -huh. and then we can let this thing go. What's your heading now there? Heading uh, is zero three zero. Looks pretty close. Zero three That's zero. That's the north tape on the, on the other side. Um. Uh, Ricky, you did get a position for the sonar bell, right? Want me to turn my turn my heading? Not yet, but in a moment. Okay. Mm. So no. I wanted to wait no. till we have finally orientated it. Okay. So um, I'm gonna so I'm saying you're gonna right. stay where you are. I'm gonna get off it. Okay. Here, 30 degrees to port. Looks like it's got to come. I would say it's got to come to the right a little. Yeah, what a little bit. You say? Yeah, probably. What's our. Um, How's your vector, Victor? 15 degrees or something. Something, something. something, something. Yeah, we really want to line it over across the um, top. So, what's this? Uh, this is the. What's our heading right now? Because the. 030. Zero, Zero three zero because the um, what's the still camera is giving us a perfect view of the orientation. Oh yeah, yeah. okay. That looks about Come zero four f or five five. Uh, uh, hop up and look north there, Dick. Hop up and look north. There it is. Yeah, slide up a little. Yeah, that still camera is the one we want to use then. You can land on a north heading where I can tweak it with a craft a little. North. <coughs> north, I. What's Mr. Still Camera say? It's got to, it's got to come a little clockwise, does it? Yeah. Let me turn off the down light. Jake, where on your screen does it show the uh, heading? Um. That. Uh, oh, that uh, circle, compass. Yeah, compass. Gotcha. Yeah. It's not a digital. Somebody, digital uh, compass. Somebody digital play compass. with the Still Camera ISO there. And yeah. Do you want me to play with it? Yeah, I can't quite make out the mark, can you? It's right right under that. Uh, maybe. I'll try You're planted good there, are you, Jake? Yep. Oh, more light. Yeah, so you can just see is that better? 
Yeah. So, Martin, I'm uh, grabbing some look, stills for you here of this look operation. Down, look down to the right, make sure I'm not dragging it to the porch. Then. You can turn on your downlight again. Grabbing some. I'll get a still of the final shot here, Martin. Here, I'll see if I can darken this up a bit. Okay. That's really close. That's it. We're out of here. Okay. Hi, Lynette. Can I get some coordinates for We're this? Place? Martin, maybe a few couple sure. degrees, three, four degrees off or something, but that looks pretty good. Back away and we'll recover the deck. Back it up. But we have to rush out of here. If you want a final shot of it up there? It's and then do we want to put the Fletcher in a box before yeah, we lose we'll it? Yeah, we'll do that on the way home. Okay. And uh, did we get a position of the sonar bell? There. Yeah, I can I get up above it. Yeah, yeah doing it right now. Oh, they're getting one right now? Okay. Oh, bell, no. Oh, you sorry. Can no, back off, bell, I don't square miss. up your HD camera and give them a as left real quick uh, while we get. We uh, have a sorted for distance and heading to it, right? Yeah. So that yeah. should give us a dust cloud. But yeah. Awesome. Well, that was excellent work. Thanks. Martin, the scientist, is super happy. Cool. He's watching all of this. Porch out a bit for me while you're... Porch out. Do you have what you need for this position? Running off to the... Uh, do, thank you. Awesome. You're welcome. Let's see. You got... Oh. Oh. Uh, make it a big dust club. If they're happy with it, we'll get all out right. of here. You can stretch it out for recovery. Did you need to get the all position right. of the bell as well? well. If you have it at hand, yes, please. Um, I have a temporary one. That's the same position, yeah. Same position? We tagged it as temporary when we put it there. Okay, hold on for a second, Jake, in case I drop this thing. Got it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. Tool tray? Yep. Yeah, right back. Tray out. And you can start running away for recovery. Run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. I can close all your toys here if you want. Are you good? Under Atlanta right now. Want me to start coming up a bit? Yep. Come up. Coming up. Recover in the deck. Cowboy boots on, boys and girls. I'm gonna rodeo this thing. Scooped by the weather. Yeah, sorry. rather be looking at cliffs and corals, I can tell you that.
should be coming up on the time, Jack. Come on up. Yes. Um, okay. Can you send that message already? Zero Z bias. Yes. I forgot to do that. Just did. Yep. Okay, I can come up a little yep. faster. Oh, you're rocketing. Oh, we're late. We're going to be on. You better call the uh, deck chief and tell him uh, we are uh, 30 minutes from the surface. Okay. Half hour <laughs> call out, as it's known in the trades. Hercules is ascending. Where's the ground fault? Where is it? Okay, so you can... It's the craft, isn't it? I don't know. We had a green board when we came in, didn't Request we? Request just change. Well, I guess it was green board besides craft, because it wasn't milked. That's what they said. That's what we get to do. Gauges are good. Good. <laughs> oh, 952 jumped up. So, I don't see a book around here. Oh, here's a book. So we have a craft ground fault. I believe that's Trevor said it wasn't milked after the last recovery. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> let's milk it now. It's way easier to do it now than it is on deck. <laughs> how my how my how's my speed here? Do I gotta go faster. You're making yeah. twenty seven. Coming up to the yellow. Too fast, isn't it? What do I want? 27, 26, 29. How about 29? <coughs> this is going to be the late night subsea craft milking. Post type checks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's easier to do this in the water than on deck. <laughs> um, uh, the way the linear actuators on the craft are, a little bit of um, oil accumulates at the bottom of the uh, actuator for the shaft, and it gets a little manky in there and causes a ground fault. So by doing this, we get some oil flow through it. As you can see, the ground fault is not made up its mine. It's yellow, so that means uh, now yellow's stuck on stupid. <laughs> Indecisive as probably be a more politically correct way to raise that. Unknown. That's what uh, my partner claims her computer does on so doesn't work for her. May I ask some questions? Sure. Sure. Are your ROVs controlled by off brand PlayStation controllers? <laughs> 
Negative. Mm. No, but many are. We use name brand Logitech 710 to be. Yeah. Logitech 710. Doesn't that just control the camera? Well, it controls part of the ROV. So. Yeah. Logitech. <clears throat> I was going to say, I feel like the, this ROV has like many different controllers. There's not like one specific item. There are many indeed. Like computer screens that. This and then is like a highly modified scientific ROV. <laughs> we have science the heck out of this thing. With so. the tools at hand. So. Yeah, the the uh, the ROV itself is controlled by a custom uh, joy box with commercial grade joysticks in it. The game controllers are stuff you see laying about. It's just some yep. uh, ancillary controllers to control one of our pan and tilt cameras. Thank you. It's been modified with uh, to make it look like. Sticks. Game controllers are actually very um, robust, and are you know they're designed to be put in a ten-year-old's hands and thrown around the room and <laughs> busted up, and so have be slime with yogurt yeah. and, <laughs> and <then> Coca-Cola. <laughs> You'd be surprised at anger. surprised about how much thought went into designing a controller like that for all the different uses it's used for in all the video games and stuff. So it's very robust and rugged. And works well. I think we need to put a Nintendo 64 controller on the system. Those things are indestructible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've, I've They're also impossible to use. <laughs> I've got one on order, but it's like it's a bit retro for <laughs> <laughs> some of the uh, going retro. <laughs> I mean, we could go with a Thrustmaster Hotas uh, flight stick. I mean. I had one in my hand at Best Buy. It just takes up too much room on the console here. Hmm. Oh, and then we got the controller for the Mezzo. Wow, that's fun. Yeah. Mezzo, we have the winch box. It's not yeah. a controller. How am I doing there anyways? Minus Pretty 21. Good. I need to go faster. Let's wait for my ground fall. Oh, I made it worse. Look at that. No, I made it to 280K. So... Yeah. Thank you. So we're 300k. I'll let it update. Yeah. Well, let adjust the wind speed here. What's your speed? 27 now? 24? 24. Um. Oh, look, we're at 300k. Not yet. Nope. Still working on it. I have another question. I'm questioning whether or not it was posted an hour Our ago sanity. is the increase oh wait is this a bad time to ask sorry no no let's go where you're questioning our sanity <laughs> <laughs> is the increased sediment particular um particularly due to being at shallow depth or because you are closer to shore i don't know uh, it's mainly because we're at the base of a canyon Canyons act as chutes, and basically they'll shoot out all that all that sediment. Um, it, we are closer to shore, so you are going to have more sedimentation because of our proximity to the shoreline and higher primary productivity in these areas of the ocean. So you know, the more production at the surface, the more you're going to see on the seafloor. Uh, it's also shallower here, um, so it. It's not as much time drifting down through the water column and being consumed when it comes to organic matter. Thank you, Megan. Uh, Megan is an encyclopedia of all things. <laughs> not all things, just some ocean related items. Where are you going with those laterals, Jake? Wait, I'm trying to. We're, we're calling you an encyclopedia. Uh, <laughs> up here. Get Megan Kids to move the boat. Know what those are now? <laughs> hmm? Is the boat full moving? Full steam the ahead. The boat is not moving. Start streaming ahead. All right, let's go move. We got Hercules over here. We want him there. Right. Bridge nav. Hi. Uh, can we start moving forward at 0.3 knots?
So with craft off, we're just on the borderline of K to M. I have a, another question, if it's still yeah. okay. Okay. Shoot. I'm going to quote this one because I, I like this. Hello, everyone. I was a Nautilus sailor on NA149. Keep up the good work. When you get a chance, can you explain what the basket full of instruments are? Who was that from on 149? Um, he didn't. He or she did not share their name. Oh. So that was two one. expeditions ago, yes, because this one is of the, one of the stem sea. Maybe no. One four nine was uh, oh, Kingman no, and Palmyra. Yeah, one. Sorry. <coughs> trying to think. Dirk, maybe. You could Just FYI, the sonar is powered on, and we are starting the driver now. Woohoo! So, what's the question specifically? Like the um. basket with instruments. Yeah, I believe it was the basket when there was a dead-looking crab on it. So the one bef the, inch, the, the before the chicken bucket. Oh, the instrument platform. Instrument platform. So that's what we call an instrument platform. They contain a junction box that connects that platform to the rest of our network. And um, this particular observatory is for the um, Barclay Hydrates location. And the interesting part here is uh, there's a lot of solidified methane on the on the seafloor. So we've got all kinds of instruments. We used to have the Wally crawler here um, collecting information, but mostly beyond like the basic CTD, um, we have sonars looking at bubbles escaping from the seafloor. And those are methane bubbles. So we have a few different sonars here and what they're doing, they're rotary sonars and they're picking up methane seeps so that science, scientists, I guess, can look at how much bubbles are escaping. But I'm not a scientist, uh, but those are the instruments mostly connected to this site. And that large bucket or basket is just the main connection point for all these instruments. Beyond that, we're doing oxygen, temperature. Uh, what else we have here? We've got the three sonars, and then do we have an ADCP? I'll check. No, no ADCP. So just sonars and CTD. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I'm like thinking about how it's like if I were to try and explain this to like a third grader, it could be like a a port, like how we have right here, where you have all the different. Yeah, it's like a power bar. Mm. It's like a power bar that you plug things into, is mm. what that thing was. There's actually no instruments on it. I'm going to turn off your app Thank camera you. for a minute. Roger. Thank you. Grateful for you explaining that. I'm going to check out if there's any other new messages, because I have a question, but I'll see if the crowd. Um, uh, yeah. Okay, here's a question. Yeah. Can you check if there's a ground fault? When does Herc get his new tiki? That's a good question. I don't know That's if the tradition is continuing. Uh, I'm about to Dan, I'm signing off. I'm going to head up. Roger. Bye, Danny. We See you we later. Thanks, Danny. We have the foot of the old tiki in the ROV shop still. <laughs> and I hear that that he was actually returned to the person who made it, right? Oh, really? I didn't know that story. I do not know either. I Am I going too fast here? I cannot I confirm, but I have I need to something similar. What do I need to do? You have no, I'm, going to, I'm going I faster. I have, I but I can't, faster. Con can't yeah. confirm. Okay. I'm set at 30 there for a while. Get up above you. Yep. <sighs> Where is it to be? What do you think? What you got to tell you? Ah. Test this thing. You tried the O2 sensor? I did. You Just tried the AF cam? I tried that. Did you try, try DVL? CTD for a minute. <coughs> Just for a second. The DVL was serviced recently. So. Uh, it's not that. 
Oh, that's good news. DVO. We don't need that. Where is it? Sensors. Uh, yeah, so this... That actually made it worse, turning the huh. DVL off. <laughs> <laughs> Not the DVL. Bubble? Yeah, replace bubble. Oh, we did. Yeah. It's the uh, 3K's on there, not the 6K now, so... Cameras... That connector's all the spirit bubble cameras off. Zeus cam for a minute. We haven't tried that. <coughs> Copy that video. Gotcha. Thank you. <coughs> if the audience is wondering why the screen went black, I'm uh, chasing one of our least five favorite pastimes, chasing ground faults in the system, so to do that we turn devices on and off and <coughs> wait for a change. Oh, that was the HD camera. was not that happy to say. Turn the rail cams off. Have we tried uh, science instruments? Um, I've tried the CTD, that's all good. Our CTD or ONC CTD? Well, I might try our CTD. Wait for an update here on the cameras. May I ask a question? Still? Yeah. Okay. Are we in a marine protected area? Oh, I think he took off his phones. Headphones. Maybe. I know Endeavor is protected, but I'm not sure about this area. That would be an, uh -huh. an ONC question. Oh, wait, it's a temp probe. I'm Cree now. You can look it up. Dirk. Oh, hold up. I have a question for you. The, qu the question was, are we in a marine oh, protected area? Uh, not right now, no. So after this dive, they, we've got one more dive at Barkley um, before we head back to the marine protected area at Endeavour. Mm -hmm. So currently not in a marine protected area. Does the marine protected area like come off of shore? It's just like, just like a blob in the middle of the ocean. Um, I'm not... I'm not necessarily the best person to ask, but the marine protected area that we're going to is for the hydrothermal vents at Endeavour, and it's pretty much isolated to Endeavour. There is, um, I think there is a process in place, or currently they're working on expanding that to the Cascadia kind of area as well, to have it at one massive marine protected area, but that is not currently the case. It's still just the MPA at Endeavour. So I don't think it's particularly big, but that is where our site is. Thank you. It needs to be protected from scientists. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> what is that thing flying in front of us? Some goop. Goopy looking thing. Hi.
so frustrating. I think it's in the can, man. General question to anyone. Um, does anyone know what IF value in terms of voltage and current is? IF value? Um. Yeah. yeah, the IF value of, of our sonar that we just connected is 2.48 volts and we are troubleshooting, but we are not sure what IF is. Just to be clear, Ricky and I don't know what it is. There's a whole <laughs> team working on it that probably does know what it is. IF. I is it internal a fault or some fault? Some kind? there. Yeah. Or, or some Canadian Ohm's law there. <laughs> <laughs> Current times fault. <laughs> yeah, it's looking IFA. like uh, it's two point. Yeah. Anyways. Leave it back to the folks at home on their computers to figure this out. Sure. Yeah, I can put a little bit. I think we're going to come up with a 6 8 rep. That's okay. Right. Well, we're going to have a tether rep. Roger. Yes, please, all the way to the deck, unless uh, we determine otherwise. And please don't pull the power. <laughs> Yeah, we want to keep 100% power in this weather. Yeah, steady as she goes, Lynette. Steady as she goes. The ship will need all it can to hold position. Can't find it, it doesn't exist. You're gonna be able to get around there in the next couple hundred meters? Yeah, I'm getting around. Coming around? Coming around. Steady as she goes. I like to have my ducks in a row by two thirty. Almost there. Quick watch change of video. But you didn't have a lot of uh, time to come up there, so. Yeah. We had some uh, water in one of those valve packs, and I'm not entirely certain how to isolate the whole valve pack.
Yeah. Did you just turn off your birds or did I, I tell did. you? Oh, okay. Turning off stuff here, I have no idea what it does. Look, your boat's gonna go wrong. Yeah. Full jam. That's pretty good. We can pause if you want to get over a little bit more. Oh, that's all right. Or we can move the ship faster, but I'm load to move it faster in this weather. Just off the starboard side. Uh, the sonars for me. You don't need them anymore, do you? Wind seems to be holding at 25 to 30, 25 gusting to 30. <laughs> Last year was like that too. You know how many times they, we get our boots wet standing out there to recover the vehicles? To, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. The foot rot is still healing up. <laughs> Seemed like it was a bit of a longer period though on the swells, was it? Yeah. Get some more in the bank to the uh, port side. We can uh, I'll stop on the winch. Thank you. 
let us know. Do thank you guys. What time do we start that recovery? Killing Atlanta lights. I'm gonna go for the uh, BBC action and turn off her lights. Feel all right with that? Daylight's a beautiful thing. Green waters of Barkley Canyon. So keep a good eye on the ship here, Lynette. The um, yeah, it's struggling now. Maybe we uh, stop. I'll stop there. And wait. Yeah, call it. Deck control. I'll stop on the winch. For deck. I'll stop on the winch, please. It's all stop. Control. Go ahead. It looks like we're slipping backward over ground a bit. Um, is there anything we can do to fix that? Okay, we can do it in the manual, semi manual, uh, um, if you like. Roger, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, yeah, but uh, in such case, uh, we will not stop. Sounds good. Uh, we can keep uh, tracking a line forward in say manual mode. It, say it. Steady as she goes, Captain. <laughs> come on, say it. I dare you. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's a nautical thing. How many movies have you seen? Steady as she goes. The wind and the seas in your face. Rocks on either side. And back deck. Uh, we are at 13 meters right now. Do you want us to head further back down? Uh, stand by. Stand by back deck. Um, we are just trying to get the ship tracking forward again. Roger, I didn't know if you want us further down uh, for tracking forward or if uh, you guys are fine with us staying at this depth. How's your... Uh yeah, how's your tail to tail and your headings? Yeah, I think we're all right. Okay, deck, deck control, I think we're all right here. Uh, bye, uh, and we'll let us know. 
you can, uh, when we can you go can ahead drive and a bit, proceed. Jake, if you want. Roger. Okay. Yeah. Let's turn it back down. It's Deck control. We're headed south with Herc. For deck. Yeah, go ahead and pay out on the winch. Bay target depth. Yeah, 10 meters a minute to 75 meters. 10 meters a minute to 75 meters, please. Hey, copies. <laughs> Jake's full ahead and full down. <laughs> run away, run away, run away. So we should have recovered a few minutes earlier. I think that 30 knot wind gust got him right. Looks like he's got it under control, so. I should have, uh, my bad there, I should have listened to Mike and ran it back down right away. But well, I thought it looked like he had it, but then he was up to half a knot. I was starting to get nervous. Yeah, so we'll run it back down to 75 and let him head out for a while and let Jake get all lined up again. Or at least fitty. But that'll give you, uh, you'll get uh, USBL position again. Let's run it down until you get good USBL position. You happy here? Yeah, you can tell the winch they can all stop 50 meters. Deck control. For back deck. Looks like we have good control of the ship again. Uh, we can do all stop 50 meters on the winch. Stand by. Winch is all stop. So we'll just uh, stand by here for a few minutes on it and get everything all lined up again. Roger that deck. Uh, we're just going to get vehicles tracking behind the ship again and we'll let you know when we're ready to come up. Good. Back deck standing by.
Uh, yeah, let's. Oh yeah, Jake's happy. Uh, let's let the ship get a few ship lengths there and just make sure she's getting a constant speed forward and heading all that. Just starting to move. Got a bit of ship width there on it. on the wire there too. Nope, he's sliding off to the south again. Auto center off on it, it's making my eyes go <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Control one bridge. Go ahead, bridge. Are you recovering or what are we are waiting? Where's um, it looks like we are drifting a little bit to the south. Um, we're just sort of waiting for that to get resolved, if we can try to move forward. We will wait a long time, so we will be drifting, because uh, you could see that swell is increasing, and uh, uh, we need, to in, such, in such case, to start managing. Start them up. Understood. Stand by. Yeah. They, they need to... I'll, I'll run up there. Hold what you got. I'll go talk to the captain.
Can I make like a final announcement on SPL? Okay. For those of you watching at home, as you can see in the back deck camera, the seas are rough. So the crew are just made a plan to safely get the vehicles onto the deck. And so um, we're all standing by for that green light. And once the green light comes, the decks will safely get on board. And uh, until then, the current plan is that um, we'll be waiting out the weather until there's an opening in the weather and then we'll begin diving again after that. So that might happen like early tomorrow morning. So, thank you. Bye. The next voices you'll hear are probably going to be like ROV pilots and deck and captain kind things. Mahalo. Yeah, we just had a little bump there right as we were trying to come on back. Let's calm it back down to a blustery 25. <laughs> what did your uh, instrument say over there, Lynette? I have 25 knots. Roger. Yep. A-frame vertical velocities are within normal parameters. If you call plus or minus one and a half meters. So that deck you see there in the video is going up and down three meters. Or 15 feet, whatever comes first. We had a few bumpy ones there where it was uh, going up and down closer to four meters. Thirty knots now. Yeah, it's gusting up and down, isn't it? So once they do bring the mains on and give a little assist, he definitely won't be able to stop. Oh yeah. We'll just keep. Yeah. You know. He might. He. Uh, she might. Um, back it off and hold position, but it'll be, I think it's easier for them to maintain heading if they're uh, got a little forward way on. Do you think the deck needs another hand, pair of hands? I think they're all right out there. They have all the veteran uh, Roger. We have Mike and uh, Rennie and Josh and Allison, and Danny, and Maze out there too. You said Justin's out there too? Uh, no, Josh. Josh, Josh. suited up, and uh, Renato is out there as well. He's probably done more launch and recoveries than the. He's done a lot of. It's a 
crazy animal in Atlantis video there. bouncing. It's because we're shallow. Whoa, that's a really long tail to that jellyfish we just saw. Yeah, it's going to be all over Atlanta stinging stuff. <coughs> Control. Control bridge. Will you let me know when the main engines are online? Absolutely. A couple of minutes more. Thank you. Control bridge. Go ahead, bridge. Engine is engaged, so we can proceed with recovering. Roger that. Deck control, do you copy? Deck copies. Uh, we're just kind of keeping an eye here, and then we'll go ahead and start recovery here in just a second. Uh, we want to. Roger that. We might need a minute to get Hercules yeah. in position. Roger, can you, uh, can you get Herc in position and then just try and hold it and let me know that you guys are able to hold position uh, directly astern? Roger, we'll let you know. I want to see the ship making at least a length, ship length, steady move there. Trust but verify. Might be just a little on the bank on the port side there, Jack. Definitely feel the vibration of the main engine up here. How are you doing over there? All right. Doesn't get much better than this, Jake. Right on the edge.
not exactly a ship's getting pushed around a little on the mm, hasn't gone backwards but it's sliding a little it's sliding to port so you definitely want some in the bank to the other side there Jake Now he's cooking with gas. That's a little more comfortable speed for me. <laughs> I'm feeling a little better now that I'm seeing half a knot. going to vary between half and three right as he's but yeah he, he needs half knots kind of a minimum to <coughs> how much does this ship weigh <laughs> 45 some amount of zeros Yeah, that's looking pretty good ship wise. Are you happy there or are you still st Deck, deck control. Go for deck. Hercules is in position, ship is moving forward, uh control is ready to continue. Roger, are you guys seeing consistent control being able to keep Herc directly behind? Yeah, that's the Roger. Yep. Uh, maintaining position behind the ship. Roger, that sounds good. And just want to confirm when we come up, do you have a speed that you'd like to, uh, to have us hauling in at? 10 meters a minute. 10 meters a minute. 10 to the 50. Copies. Break, break, bridge, back deck. Back deck, bridge. You guys all set and ready for us to recover? Charlie to recover. Yeah, nice and slow. Nice and slow. going to be a long five minutes, Jake. <laughs> I'm afraid if we come too fast, we'll, you know, get a big slack in the wire there. You can actually hold Herc, uh, let's hold Herc depth about uh, three to five meters. So don't come up into the surf because it'll kill you. And you can, uh, you'll have to double tap your uh, auto depth here. Otherwise the thing will go bonkers. But you'll have more control of it. You'll be able to see your cameras, your aft camera, in case it goes pear-shaped. No reason to be on the surface getting uh, getting beat to death.
just high enough so that that crew can see it, basically. Atalant is at 10 meters, one zero meters. That copies. Just in case. See it? Turn the light on. Oh, no. Yeah, it's not so violent to pulling on Atlanta once I get it on the deck. But you do want to keep keep tugging on it. Click your auto depth in, or you got it. What's that? Yeah, that should help. Auto depth is engaged. Should be able to pretty much dead stick there. Maybe some laterals to. Yeah.
could go down a couple more meters if you wanted to. <coughs> Be less of the ultraviolence on Atlanta. Actually, I don't think you need any forward on. <coughs> no, the ship's, you got half a knot already on it, right? So if you're pressing forward right now here. <coughs> oh, sorry, I thought I saw him. No. Josh will drag you over there. Center up the nav screen, one item, keeping an eye on the boat over here. Thank you. Albatross are attacking Jake. They're like, hey, you got anything to eat? <laughs> They're so dorky looking when they land. They remind me of my chickens. <laughs> Resting ahead now. Are you trying to turn? Nah, you won't be able to with the tether dragon. Not till you get, not till you get closer to the boat. No, that's that's fine there. The only uh, reason to get worried is if the daisy chain or something, you know, comes. Uh, like it is now. See the line there? I would go dead stick altogether right now. Got a line in front of you. Mm, you can bring your head into the 
right, a little maybe. That's a good heading there. Drifted back around to the left. Uh, one one thirty five. Should be able to lock auto heading in if you wanted to. I think all the lines are out now. And Dex, Hercules is 10 meters from the transom. 10 meters, Roger. Can you turn your head a little more? Maybe 150, 165. I give a square to head. Yeah, a head, no lateral. If you can, turn your head a little more to the right and get squared ahead. <laughs> That's a good heading. And yeah, give her a squared ahead there, get out away from the boat. You got power, you got authority to go ahead, but yeah, you're there. Off auto head and go to bypass. I got my finger on the bypass button here. You can leave it on to the last minute. This when they start lifting you out, remember to click it off. If you don't, it'll thrusters will go crazy when it comes out of the water. Second. No other autos on, right? Yeah, just so. Okay, auto head off. Bypass. And uh, so Hercules is out of the water. Power is secure. Roger, power is secure. Nicely done, Jake. That was a fun one. <laughs> Roger. 